Chris, you have earned a win in one of the most difficult environments to do so in the NBA. What took over your team in that fourth quarter as you overcame a double-digit deficit? They went on a hell of a run there in the third. Stuff got hot. They went up 80 to 70. And I told us, the guys in the huddle, Let's fight back, you know, let's fight back, and that's what we did, man. Hell of a game, team effort, uh, fun game, fun game, big time game right here. You've told me that playing alongside James Harden has freed up your game in a way that you've never experienced before. We saw each of you for 40 plus minutes tonight. What does that say about the drive of this duo? Um, you know, we just talked about all the work we put in during the summer. You know, we know how hard it is to come back from 3-1, uh, even though they did it against us a few years ago. Um, just, you know, when it's winning time, you got you to gotta suck it up, man. And James is unbelievable. Eric Gordon, Trevor Reza, just the grit that we showed. We knew we needed one here, and we got it. The series does shift back to Houston, now tied at two games apiece, knowing how important that Game 5 win will be. What will you expect from your teammates? Uh, man, to come out and play hard. You know, the city of Houston, we're going to need you. We're going to need you Game 5. You know, the city's been through a tough time uh, with the things in Santa Fe, but... Uh, Man, I don't know. Hopefully basketball can be a way that people can come and uh, ease their minds if only for a second. So, uh, you know, Houston, we, we, we coming home. Congratulations, Chris. H-Town. Uh,